There are two ways to do ET prediction with the race-based software. The first is to click on the green predict icon at the top and it will open the predict widget on the side. You then have to select your event and which run you want and as long as you are connected to your race air cloud, it will give you an updated ET prediction right here. The easier way to predict is to simply click on a cell in the run you want to predict off of and click on the purple predict button. That will automatically import that run's data into the prediction widget and give you an updated ET prediction. You'll notice that here is the latest weather that we are getting from the weather station and next to the field is a comparator to let you know how much that weather variable has changed since the run you are predicting off of. If the weather variable has gotten better, the arrow will be green, and if worse, the arrow will be red, as well as showing the difference of the two samples. If you see a simple dash next to the weather variable, then we are letting you know that the variable has not changed enough to make much of a difference. Here you'll see that the background of the predict area is the same color as your logbook color, so you won't confuse which ET prediction is which. We have also incorporated the car number as well. In the top right, we have the difference of how much we expect your car to slow down or pick up. This is the event that we are predicting from, and if we select up or down on the run number buttons, it will quickly change which run we are predicting off of. You should also notice that the weather comparators change, the time changes, and the ET here changes. And finally we have the predict formula option. If you change the formula here to a different one, it will only change it for this particular tab. If you would like to change your default prediction formula, you will need to open the cars option and select it there. Now one thing I want to point out is that when we are in the predict widget option and select any other option, it will first open up a new tab and then open that widget in the new tab. The reason for this is because we consider the predict widget sacred and never want to accidentally close it. As long as the predict tab is open, when a page or text message is sent, it will send the updated prediction as well. If you have multiple cars, you will need to open a predict tab for each car and the only way to stop paging or texting predictions is to close that prediction tab. One of the most common questions we get at this point is, great, now which formula should I use? To help answer this question for you, we have created a prediction analysis tool. Simply hit the predict widget tab to expand, and as long as you have an event's worth of runs in your database, you will get a report card area that shows you how well each ET prediction did. At the top here we have what our actual runs were, the weather and headwind. If any of your actual runs are in red, it means that the 60 foot from that run to the previous run were so different that no ET prediction would have been able to predict it accurately. Uh, the next line is our standard single run no win formula and you'll see here what we predicted you would run, how much our prediction was off from your actual ET, and then we assign a letter grade to how well that formula did. The idea is to scroll through your formulas and get a general sense of which one gave you better grades and whichever that one is should be your new default formula. Now one of the most impressive features of the prediction area is how easy it is to edit your formulas. Simply click on the wizard button and scroll down, then click on the formula you want to modify and it will bring up all the variables that are adjusting that particular formula. For the Bagaki 8th with wind, we are saying that for every 250 feet of change, it changes your ET 100th. The headwind is saying it takes four and a half mile an hour of headwind to slow you down 0.01. If you have a door car that is more sensitive to wind, we can hit the more button and we see the number start to creep downwards. This may seem backwards, but it is because now it only takes three mile an hour to change us 0.01, making us more sensitive to that variable. The great thing is that once you tweak a formula and hit save, it will then reanalyze and simulate your past events as if you had that formula you just created last week. This allows you to tweak the formula, test the results. Tweak the formula again, test the re results. Eventually you'll find a formula that gives you straight A's. Then you can simulate it on another event and make sure it works for that one too. If you can see that the formula you now have would work perfect, would have predicted perfectly the last race, you'll have a lot more confidence in that formula going into your next race. Now another question we get is, how do I know how much a variable is affecting my ET? If you click on tune up and then select variable effect on ET, you will be given the option to select which variable you want to determine its effect on your ET. For this example, we'll use headwind. 
I can then select two runs to compare, and it will tell me exactly how much the headwind is affecting my car. I can compare multiple runs to get a general sense, and then I can plug that number into my prediction wizard, save it, and it will automatically simulate last weekend's events and tell you how close you would have been to your ET if you had that formula last week. And then finally we have the runs uh, currently in prediction database. These are the runs that are primarily used for the autocorrect feature when you are adding a run. If you select yes to autocorrecting, it will search your prediction database for all gold quality runs, find the run closest to the pass you just made, and then run the run completer program. If you have any other questions, check out the FAQ to the left or go to our website, computech.com, for more content.